This short video will show you how you can run a cell-based phospho-HTRF assay and measure ERK phosphorylation. Phospho-ERK is a cell-based assay validated in a wide variety of samples. This assay is not just 30 times more sensitive than Western blot, but also way faster than Western blot or ELISA. It can work on adherent or suspension cells so you can start your culture in any format like a flask, a 6, 12, 24, or 96 well plate. How does it work? Phosphorylated ERK is detected by a sandwich assay using two different specific antibodies, one labeled with donor and the second with acceptor. When both antibodies are linked to phosphorylated ERK, the specific signal is emitted. Signal intensity is proportional to the amount of phosphorylated ERK in the sample. Using this kit, you can measure either an increase or an inhibition of the phosphorylation. All components are included in the kit. Phosphoprotein donor antibody, phosphoprotein acceptor antibody, ready-to-use control lysate, phosphatase inhibitor, lysis buffer, detection buffer, 96 low-volume white plate in our 96 well kit size, a protocol that you can also download on our website. Now let's look at the experiment step by step. First, reconstitute your conjugates just by diluting 21-fold the stock solution in the detection buffer provided in the kit. Prepare the 1x lysis buffer by diluting the 4x stock buffer in distilled water, then supplement it with phosphatase inhibitor. That's it. All regents are ready to get your assay started. This protocol is a transfer assay where cell treatment and lysis are made in the culture plate and detection is made in the HTRF detection plate. Plate your cells, then add the molecule of interest. Usually treatment time is between 10 to 30 minutes. Remove cell supernatant carefully. Add supplemented lysis buffer and incubate 30 minutes at room temperature under shaking. During this time, pre-mix the detection antibodies by mixing an equal volume of donor antibody and acceptor antibody. After lysis, homogenize your lysates by pipetting up and down. Transfer 16 microliters of the lysate from your culture plate to your HTRF detection plate in duplicate. Add 4 microliters of pre-mixed detection antibodies. Cover the plate with a plate sealer, then incubate at room temperature. Be aware that incubation time depends on the kit. A template map is provided in the protocol. After incubation, read the plate on an HTRF compatible reader. You can make dose response curves of your activator. Plot ERK phosphorylation in regard to compound concentration starting from basal level on the left and increasing with pathway activation until plateau. You can take analysis one step further by using our matching total ERK kit to normalize your results. That's it. You have now a very simple way to monitor ERK phosphorylation. Check out our list of available assays for phosphoproteins or cytokines on our website or contact your local representative for more information.